Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy coming back at you with a video. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but I thought I'd throw my hat into the ring on an issue that's been going on recently, and there's been a lot of outcry recently over uh, basically the Warzone MMR system and how matching works in Halo now, especially the Halo, the uh, Warzone community, excuse me. Um, I haven't played Warzone. I actually, never mind, I did play. I played in It's Fall Man two days ago. Uh, Smurf didn't find it really fun. Not really going to talk about that too much because it was not much to do with this video. But I thought I'd give an outsider's perspective because I do have quite a bit of knowledge about how the Warzone system works and what could possibly work and what doesn't and the reason why these things don't work uh, based on my experience in Warzone. Again, I have not played the game in a while, but I have, I'm a 152, and I grinded the shit out of Warzone. I played every single damn thing in the game. I have a pretty in-depth knowledge of what's going on, and I thought I'd give a little bit of an outsider's perspective from someone who's retired from Warzone until Halo, Halo 6. So, uh, let's get right into it. First of all, uh, I am going to link uh, Mint Blitz's video as he discusses the uh, MMR system a little bit and how it uh, relates to matching and basically not as many of the specifics of the system but actually how it affects uh, players and matching. Basically how Warzone is set up right now, they have 12 man back but you basically have MMR in Warzone now and it's basically ranked. Warzone is basically has a hidden rank and it makes it so players like, if players like myself were to try to search on my, our main accounts and we were like, Preselence's squad is usually fully stacked and they can't find matches in a 12 man. That's because they're in a 12 man and it's a stacked squad. They each have such high KDs, such high win rates. It's absolutely insane and it's really hard to find a match for them because nobody really compares to the amount of grinding they've done same if i were to get a stack squad it's just as it's terrible um how inflated the mmr system is basically the system uh makes it so it's harder for really high ranked players to match however this does affect it seems to affect a minority of the community which i also do understand the community that still plays halo 5 we'll get to that in a minute but uh, in fact, it affects the minority of the community directly. Uh, meaning that a minority of the community will not find matches at a decent rate. Because most players in the community, probably 80% of the players, have around a 50% uh, win rate or something like that. I'm just throwing a number out there. So they're able to find matches much easier and match each other much easier. They also don't typically run in 12-mans. A lot of people nowadays will run in six mans and 12 man um basically i have been following the transition from six man to 12 man from six man to 12 man 343 industries has done everything in the book to try to fix warzone they've been experimenting it. it's been a complete frankenstein of a project they've just tried to piece things together it's it's really quite hilarious and i hate to laugh at what's going on in the Halo community. But as an outsider, it's hilarious to see where things are going right now. It's like a shit show at 343 Industries, especially in Warzone. I almost feel like they've given up on it, in all honesty. Because they're not really doing anything with the playlist. They're just adjusting fire team sizes and now MMR ranks, which is really weird. It makes me think that they don't really care about the playlist anymore. That's a failed project and they're just going to worry about Halo 6 which I can totally understand. Um, I... Okay, so where should I go next? I should probably just get the unpopular opinion, and I am expecting tantrums in chat from people who abs from Warzone Sweats right now who will probably chastise me for saying this, but I do not believe 12 man should be in uh, Halo 5 right now. And this is coming from a huge supporter. I'm a huge supporter of 12-man Warzone. At least it should not be integrated with the normal playlist. It should be 
it should not be in Halo 5 at all, or it would be interesting to see a separate playlist where people could queue. Where 12 mans could queue and match each other intentionally, since that's really the only purpose of 12 mans anymore. Um, and here's why I think that. When Halo 5 released, I ran in 12 man squads all the time. That's all I did. It was the easiest way to grind XP. You would get blowout matches, and you could. I was an XP grinder. I didn't do it for the kills. I didn't really do it for anything else. I like to max rank in a game. I like to level up as fast as I can. That's why I did it. And it was also fun, pub stomping on kids. Um, and uh, admittedly, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I completely farmed you back in the OG days. But anyways, back when Halo 5 came out, and for probably the first year, um, the population did nothing but really grow. We give Halo a lot of shit because it hasn't done as well as like Halo 3, and maybe sometimes Halo 4, but arguably that's up for strong debate though. But I do believe that Halo was healthier than it is now, and I believe it had a bigger, uh, especially a larger Warzone base. More people played Warzone, and what that meant is there were a lot of 12-man squads running, but you would only match a 12-man every five or six matches if you were searching in a small group, making one blowout match out of, like, six, which was really... That's like, you get that in Call of Duty. You get, like, a team of four. Yeah, I would solo queue when I played Modern Warfare 2 way back in the day. I would solo queue, and I wouldn't match a team for, like, five matches and then a match on the six. And it wouldn't be that bad because it wasn't repetitious. I wasn't getting pub stopped every game. So basically, small squads aren't getting... We're not getting demolished every single game way back when Halo 5 came out. Whereas now, the population for Halo 5 has unfortunately shrunk a great amount. And because of that, a lot the dedicated players, which are ironically the players who uh, ran in 12-mans, stayed in Halo 5 while more of the casuals went on to other games and to diversify their gaming collection. And they don't really play Halo 5 anymore, so only the really hardcore dedicated people stayed. However, there were there are people who are were not quite as organized as us or quite as good. And there's people around who are that way. And basically, what's going on now, from what I see, my perspective in the Warzone community, is if 12 Man were to stay in Warzone, I honestly believe people would match 12 Mans all the time because there's such a large group uh there's how do I put this the population of Warzone is small enough and the amount of people who would roll in squads and team up is large enough that I honestly believe that people queuing Warzone would match 12 mans every other game because the population is so small and those dedicated players stayed while the casual population that helped kind of diversify the Warzone scene, they left. And I believe they left for a variety of reasons. The main reason they left Warzone, I strongly believe, is 343 fucked around with the formula of Warzone so much. Instead of really focusing on rebalancing and, okay, here's this glitch, or why are teams able to crush these kids so easily, or looking at the rec system, how the rec system works, instead they immediately went after fire team sizes. And the first thing they did is they beta tested it in Warzone Assault, said it was temporary. They said this was a temporary change. And we tolerated that as a Warzone community. We tolerated that for quite some time. And then we really blew up once Warzone Assault became permanently six-man. 
announced it was permanently six man, and they were going to switch it over, uh, or add that rather, over to regular Warzone. There was a mass exodus, if I could say. I quite a few of my friends, half of my friends list. Yeah, that much. Forty to fifty percent of my friends list. Uh, dropped out of Halo 5 when they made that change. And we warned them. We were in a Discord chat with them. We had a Discord chat with a direct link to 343 Industries. I will not name the person, but we had a link. Uh, we tweeted about it. We said, if you do this, you're fucked. And guess what happened? We were right. Um, so basically that happened. And those people left. A lot of my friends who ran uh, squads left. And the casual players at that point might say, oh, this is great. We won't have uh, kids pub stomping on us as often now that it's capped at six, man. You can only search in teams of six. That may be the case, but there is another reason why having 12 mans is good. And this is the same reason we have HCS. It's marketing. When competitive teams compete for a prize pool in the HCS, Optic, Spliced, Liquid now, it's like any of those teams compete. And you live stream. You offer a prize pool of those players. But really what those guys are doing is that's advertising competition for the game and you're trying to pull in viewers to that stream and essentially sell your game and your merchandise. Any Halo merchandise or games through that stream. You're trying to pull people and say, oh, this game looks like fun. Maybe I could be like that someday. Maybe I could be pro like that. Or maybe I don't even want to be pro, but a lot of the features you guys are showing in this game, I like the game style. Maybe I could play this for fun. Essentially, you're trying to sell the game. It's the same way with Warzone. When Halo 5 was made, Warzone was made the, in my opinion, it is the feature game mode of Halo 5. It's not Arena. You have HCS, of course, but I believe Warzone is the signature unique game mode that sets it apart from any other title listed before. And usually when game makers do this, they try to diversify it, they try to really market it, which they did. They marketed Warzone, but part of that marketing that they missed out on is marketing that 343 doesn't even have to invest in. It's one of the biggest bits of marketing you can do, and that is Twitch. When I would stream, and you see Presselin streaming right now. He pulls in over 100 viewers right now. Good for him. Um, when he's streaming squads and 12 mans in this competitive team, that's not a rep representation of the casual player base when they play. However, casual players will watch competitive streams. And even players who may not be in Halo right now will go to this and say, wow, this looks like fun. And again, maybe I can be that good someday. Maybe I can be like Presolence, or I could be like Noodle, or I could be like whoever. Whoever's playing Warzone at the time, whoever they're watching. I can be like them someday. Or again, this looks fun. I might want to pick it up. When 343 took out 12 man, that takes out a lot of the competition that was going on and the rivalry, which was a bit salty. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, that's kind of the second part of this video. But basically, once you take that away, you take away a lot of the appeal of watching it in competitive gameplay since you've completely cut out the competitive part, and it's more random. The game is no longer who's the best player, who works the spawns the best, who caps the bases the best, who gets the boss at this time, this huge competitive scene. It's now a shit show of a lottery. Who are you going to get teamed with? Are 
every game after that point that I played during six mans was it was never our fault that we lost. It was always randoms. It's the best random teammates you get paired up with. That's all there was to it. There's not this matter of skill anymore. There's not a level of skill. It's this um, player. It's uh, who you get matched up with. And that also hurt the competitive uh, Warzone community quite a bit. And it's a big reason I don't play anymore. Like, Halo's a shit, shit show, honestly. Uh, Call of Duty's coming out in uh, four or five days this Friday. I'm going to love it. I'm going to be playing it because it's purely a social game and it understands that. I am a firm believer that Halo 5 should have stayed 12-man and should have stayed completely social. You should have been able to be allowed to search as 12-mans. It should have been a social playlist as it set out to be, and it worked wonderfully until 343 Industries started messing with it. Yeah, you get whiny kids on Reddit spreading salt. We got a lot of salt. I get a lot of salt even to this day for farming kids. We could take it. That's part of the game. It's part of any game. You may get complaints on Reddit. However, the effects that were felt after these changes were made are, quite honestly, non-recoverable. And I do not think the Halo 5 community as we know it the Halo 5 Warzone community will be able to survive much longer because of what's happened. 343 marked the death of Warzone probably about a year ago. It's just been a slow and horrible death. There's been a little peaks, give them a little CPR once in a while, revive them, but he's still dying. Like, Warzone's still dying. There's just nothing else to say about it. And I also think um, Warzone also isn't as popular. And this is it kind of goes back to the Reddit portion. Uh, because when those casual players left... Okay, let's put it this way. When us six-man, or, or us 12-mans matched each other, there was a lot of competition. But also, when we matched casuals, we created a lot of salt from quick corn kids a lot of salt and it was heard especially all over reddit and we thought it was hilarious like i know whiskey back in the day just ate that shit up we loved it but basically um there was a whole bunch of salt surrounding us but there wasn't really much salt in between the teams in between the 12 man teams which a lot of 12 mans play now or a good group of them that i know of not a lot, I shouldn't say that. Population's kind of low, but there's a good group of 12 mans that still compete. I believe the Warzone community has gotten a lot more toxic, which is not a reason why I don't want to join. I don't want to be part of drama. I don't want to get into that again. Um, and here's why. All that salt I mentioned in Reddit, a lot of those casual players left after a lot of the changes in Warzone happened. And now there's this void, and this is so weird to say. There is this void of non-saltiness. Oh boy, my roommate's playing. Sorry, boys. Uh, I'm just going to go on and try to finish up this video before he uh, starts blasting it. All right. So, basically, there's this void of salt that's around you. Because nobody's there to fill it. Nobody's there to be salty at you. And us Warzone players, for the first time, are like, competitive Warzone players are like, who do we be salt? Who, who's going to salt on us? We want more salt. We want more salt. And eventually, we became salty at each other. Because there needed to be salt in the Warzone community. I don't know. That's a little weird theory I have, but I believe, like, Basically, there was this void of salt from all the salty players leaving, and then there was no one to be salty at us, the Warzone community. So we got salty at each other without realizing it. And you can see it to this day. 
Uh, all you have to look up on YouTube is Warzone Rage and uh, stuff like that, and you'll see plenty of salt. I don't know. Maybe that's... I don't, I don't even pay attention anymore. I'm, I'm not part of that anymore. I am fine where I'm at. I am perfectly happy playing Call of Duty until Halo 6 comes out. I have high hopes for Halo 6. Hopefully that turns out to be good. Hopefully 343 starts listening, uh, especially the Warzone community. Maybe they'll fix Warzone. My personal opinion, it's going to die, and Warzone is not going to be a thing within a year because it's going to be dead. But that's just my opinion. Um, this is a long video. Holy shit. 20-minute rant. I didn't want it to be this long. I'm sorry. But I'm just going to upload this. Let me know what you guys think. And yeah, I think that will be it. I will catch you guys later. Peace out. Don't spread too much salt in the chat now. Not, not, not too much, all right? No tantrums. Respectable comments only. Ah, fuck it. That's, that's not going to happen. I'm going to get so much salt for this video.